The race to the ISS is gearing up for its most exhilarating chapter yet, with the entry of numerous new contenders. Among these, Dream Chaser is garnering significant attention as it prepares to make its debut in the near future. While delays have pushed back timelines, they serve as indicators of the groundbreaking transformations this space plane could bring to the aerospace industry. How are preparations for the Dream Chaser advancing? What impact will this mission have on the space industry? Can it outpace the formidable SpaceX Dragon, the reigning giant? Stay tuned as we delve into these questions on today's episode of Great SpaceX. It's been over a decade since the iconic space shuttle bid farewell to its missions in space. Dream Chaser, boasting a similar space plane design, is poised to step into the shoes of the space shuttle for future space endeavors. Despite facing numerous delays over the years, the prospect of witnessing Dream Chaser take flight is now closer than ever. Sierra Space unveiled its first complete prototype, named Tenacity, towards the end of 2023. Following this unveiling, the prototype was transported to NASA's test center in Ohio to undergo environmental testing. Initially scheduled for launch in April as part of the second flight of ULA's Vulcan Centaur, the launch has since been pushed back to the fourth quarter of this year. Despite the delays in launch schedules, testing endeavors for Dream Chaser continue to advance smoothly. Earlier this year, Dream Chaser accompanied by the Shooting Star module, Dream Chaser, accompanied by the Shooting Star module, underwent vibration testing on the world's largest vibration table. This critical test, one of the largest conducted on the space plane, evaluates its resilience against extreme vibrations during encapsulation within the Vulcan Centaur's fairing and throughout the launch process. On March 7th, Sierra Space reported the successful completion of this test, along with other pivotal assessments, such as the separation shock test and wing deployment evaluation. Following the completion of vibration and other essential tests, Dream Chaser was transported to NASA's Armstrong in-space propulsion facility for a crucial thermal vacuum test. This test aims to evaluate Dream Chaser's capability to withstand the harsh temperature conditions of space. Sierra Space elaborated that Dream Chaser will be subjected to low pressures, low background temperatures, ambient and replicated dynamic solar heating, simulating the environment the spacecraft will encounter during its inaugural mission to the space station. They further noted that this marks the final testing phase before Dream Chaser transitions to NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida for the ultimate preparations ahead of launch. In early April, Sierra Space released images of the space plane and cargo module undergoing testing in the thermal vacuum chamber, indicating progress in the testing phase. By April 18th, Sierra Space announced preparations to transport Dream Chaser to Florida, with the company unloading four semi-tractor trailers of support equipment inside the Space Station Processing Facility, or SSPF. These updates suggest that Dream Chaser has successfully completed the most crucial tests, paving the way for its potential arrival in Florida in the coming months to prepare for its historic launch. Now, let's delve into the anticipated success rate of this inaugural Dream Chaser mission. As is typical with any maiden voyage of a new vehicle, the first flight carries inherent risks. And Dream Chaser is no exception. However, I maintain confidence in its ability to achieve success on its maiden launch. Sierra Space and NASA have dedicated numerous years to the research and development of Dream Chaser. The vehicle has been fortified with various components designed to safeguard its integrity during operations, including advanced wing systems and heat shields. In contrast to the Space Shuttle space plane, Dream Chaser is hailed for its incorporation of numerous modern technologies. Moreover, it has endured rigorous testing procedures, as previously mentioned. With these tests successfully completed, Dream Chaser stands fully equipped to excel in space missions. On the launch vehicle front, the Vulcan Centaur rocket delivered promising results during its inaugural launch, dispelling any skepticism within the aerospace industry and alleviating concerns for Sierra Space. Both the BE-4 hardware and engine have demonstrated stable operation. However, it's worth noting that the Vulcan's flight induced significant vibration, leading to the subsequent failure of the Peregrine lander payload. Once this issue is addressed, coupled with Dream Chaser's positive results in the vibration test, I anticipate a smooth execution of the upcoming mission. Nonetheless, it's imperative to avoid complacency. This mission carries significant implications for numerous organizations and the future of the aerospace industry. Therefore, thorough and meticulous checks must be conducted prior to launch to ensure mission success. Indeed, the success of this mission holds the potential to catalyze significant changes within the aerospace industry. 
Dream Chaser's official entry into the ISS race will introduce competition alongside current contenders like SpaceX Dragon and Boeing Starliner. Similar to these vehicles, Dream Chaser boasts reusability as a key feature. However, its unique design sets it apart. In addition to essential landing components such as engines and heat shield tiles, Dream Chaser is equipped with wings, facilitating controlled re-entry and landing akin to a conventional airplane. This innovative landing method not only enhances efficiency, but also reduces turnaround and maintenance time compared to other spacecraft. These distinguishing characteristics are bound to capture the attention of the aerospace industry with a successful maiden mission. Dream Chaser is poised to become a preferred choice for numerous organizations in their space endeavors. With the introduction of Dream Chaser, Sierra Space will establish its own space transportation vehicle, facilitating the development of space-based systems, notably the Life Inflatable Space Station System. While maintaining collaboration with Blue Origin on the Orbital Reef project, Sierra Space could adopt a more proactive approach by leveraging Dream Chaser for constructing its space station, rather than solely relying on New Glenn. In addition to construction tasks, Dream Chaser will play a pivotal role in ferrying cargo and crew to this space station, mirroring the operations conducted with the current ISS. This strategic move signifies Sierra Space's evolution into a comprehensive player in the realm of space exploration and development. In line with their objectives, Sierra Space is not only conducting environmental testing with the Tenacity prototype, but also manufacturing a second cargo prototype dubbed Reverence, or Reverence, whichever you like. Similar in size and features to Tenacity, Reverence signifies the progression towards producing crew prototypes. While details about the crew prototypes remain limited, one noteworthy revelation is their twin tail and fixed wing design, hinting at innovative advancements in Dream Chaser's development. These initiatives underscore Sierra Space's commitment to expanding its capabilities in space transportation and furthering its contributions to the aerospace industry. Dream Chaser presents NASA with a compelling alternative for space missions, diversifying their options beyond the long-standing reliance on Dragon to reach the ISS. While Dragon has undoubtedly demonstrated impressive capabilities, NASA seeks to avoid sole dependence on any single agency. While Starliner remains an option, it may not meet NASA's expectations to the same extent. In this context, Dream Chaser emerges as a highly promising option. Notably, Dream Chaser embodies characteristics reminiscent of the Space Shuttle, offering NASA the opportunity to utilize it as a symbol to inspire and galvanize New Age space exploration endeavors. Its versatility and potential make Dream Chaser an invaluable addition to NASA's toolkit for future missions. Indeed, Dream Chaser will face formidable competition, particularly from SpaceX Dragon, even after completing its maiden flight. SpaceX's track record speaks volumes, with over a decade of successful completion of 30 cargo missions to the ISS for NASA. The recent safe landing of the CRS-30 mission on April 30th underscores Dragon's dominance in this arena. It's evident that Dragon's superiority sets a high bar for competitors, and it may be some time before another vehicle can match or surpass this achievement. Dream Chaser will need to demonstrate exceptional performance and reliability to establish itself as a worthy contender in the space transportation landscape. SpaceX and Dragon played a pivotal role in NASA's quest for independence from Russian dependency in sending personnel to the ISS, marking a significant achievement. This accomplishment has posed a formidable challenge for many competitors striving to compete with Dragon. To date, Dragon has successfully completed nine crew missions to the ISS, including one demo mission boasting an impeccable success rate. This unparalleled achievement surpasses those of its competitors, further solidifying Dragon's position as a leader in crewed space missions. With six NASA missions on the horizon and numerous private missions in the pipeline, Dragon is poised to build upon its success and solidify its legacy in space exploration. With the current statistics, it's evident that Dream Chaser faces a steep uphill battle to surpass Dragon's achievements. To compete with Dragon, Dream Chaser must strive to at least match the milestones outlined earlier, a daunting task that may take many years to accomplish, if ever. In the foreseeable future, SpaceX will continue to operate its vehicle regularly, maintaining its dominance in the ISS race, while Dream Chaser endeavors to launch its first flights and ensure stable operations.
As a result, SpaceX's Dragon is poised to maintain its stronghold in the arena for the foreseeable future, despite the emergence of Dream Chaser. However, the launch of Dream Chaser will undoubtedly inject a new level of excitement and competition into the space race. This heightened competition will foster innovation and drive organizations to push the boundaries of space exploration. Dream Chaser, alongside vehicles like Dragon and Starliner, will play a crucial role in fortifying the strength of the U.S. aerospace industry. Moreover, Dream Chaser's entry into the scene will herald a new era of space exploration, transcending individual vehicles or agencies. It'll serve as a beacon of opportunity for all those passionate about exploring the cosmos, uniting efforts towards a common goal of advancing humanity's presence in space. Well folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.